So I've entitled this video, Why All Relationships End, or the reason why all relationships end. It's a strange one because you might think, well, you know, relationships end for all sorts of reasons. Well, I want you to hear me out on this one. This is the way I'm going to put this. In a relationship, two people come together and the first thing to point out about it is that each of them are human beings. Okay, they each have emotional needs. Now, I have to actually say that at the beginning because the way a lot of people talk about relationships nowadays, it's almost like they're, they're afraid to admit that. Okay, particularly people who talk about codependency a lot, but I'm going to get into that in different videos. It's almost like they're, they're afraid to admit I'm a human being and I have needs. And if I'm in a relationship, I'm going to be in a relationship with another person who is a human being and has emotional needs, okay? So that's our starting point, that's our premise to begin with. Both people have emotional needs. Like it or love it. You can deny it if you want, but it's true. <laughs> people have emotional needs. Now, what is the purpose of a relationship? Well, it's pretty simple, pretty simple equation. If you're in a relationship with someone, you have a full-time job. And that job is to meet the emotional needs of your partner. Okay? See them as sort of having this space within them for you to fill that with, with whatever it is that they need. People feel uncomfortable about talking about that sometimes. They don't like to think of themselves as having sort of a void. But I'm not going to go into that too much. But that's the way it is. You need to just fill that with love. Okay? meet those emotional needs and that's to that other person that feels like love now there's something else okay you will have emotional needs so what is your partner's role well their role is to meet your emotional needs so think about that if you're in a relationship with someone you have these emotional needs and by the way do you know what your emotional needs are? That's a very, very serious question I'm asking you. I'm not going to talk about it today, but if you can't tell me right now what your emotional needs are, we need to talk about that at some point, okay? So if you're interested in that video, maybe leave a comment below or something, but hopefully we'll get on to that. But anyway, you do have emotional needs and your partner's role is to meet those emotional needs. So it would be useful to know what they are. But that's the equation, okay? Each person meets the emotional needs of the other person. Now, why do relationships end? Very simply, those emotional needs are not being met enough. So, it's basically the degree to which those emotional needs are being met is too low. The person then doesn't feel enough connection in the relationship or doesn't feel love. And when love goes away, the relationship is finished. So in other words, what I'm saying is, why do all relationships end? Well, love ends. That's why. People do stay together in relationships for all sorts of reasons. They might stay together in a relationship out of a sense of obligation or they might stay in a relationship because maybe for the children or something else like that, right? But no one ever gets divorced or separates if they both feel in love with each other, if there's both real love. They do get divorced or they do separate if they have affection for each other. Affection isn't enough. Even if they, if they respect each other, the relationship may well end. If they don't have love, it might, it's, it's going to end. It will end, okay? Now, they might, as I said, they might stay together for, for obligations or things like that, but the relationship as such is not really there anymore. It's over. Whether or not they, they're practically together or, or not emotionally, they're, it's finished, okay? So it's a pretty simple equation. So if you want to find out how to, how to have a relationship that works, or if you want to find out how to keep a relationship working, the, the, the way forward with that is to find out 
what are my partner's emotional needs and go about meeting them. And also to find out what your own emotional needs are and communicate those needs clearly without any hesitation to your partner. And in that whole process of meeting each other's emotional needs, it's a, it's a messy process. It's, it's a process that needs to be refined. It needs to it may change over time. But always communication about how are we doing meeting each other's If that happens and you're both meeting each other's emotional needs, what happens is feelings of intimacy, feelings of connection grow. Feelings of love grow. And the relationship will get stronger and stronger over time. But as soon as it ends, it starts to go down, all sorts of problems kind of start to show up in the relationship. Frustration shows up because the emotional needs are not being met anymore. And then you even go into another category, which is destructive things or, or um, manipulative strategies in order to now get my emotional needs met because they're not being met anymore. And those, are, those, those strategies are very, very ineffective. They don't work and they actually hurt love. So it kind of only speeds up the process, the decline of the relationship. So something else you'll notice, if you can find out what your partner's emotional needs are, your self-confidence, your self-esteem in your relationship really, really does increase because now you, you have a, a much deeper sense of, okay, and not only do I know what this person wants and how they can be happy, I know I can do that. I know I can give that to them. If you don't know what their emotional needs are, this is the big problem that happens. We, because sometimes people are, are not good at communicating their emotional needs, for instance. So if you don't know what their emotional needs are, what we do is we sort of mind read or we guess what their emotional needs are or we project onto them what we imagine their emotional needs are because based on what our own emotional needs are. So an example might be um, a female partner looks at her, her, her boyfriend or husband and thinks that, well, he really wants affection. But that's what she wants. That's one of her emotional needs. It may be one of his emotional needs, but it may not be the primary emotional need. So we do have emotional needs that are prioritized. And the higher the emotion, like the, the top emotional needs, maybe top two or three emotional needs are they're not even up for negotiation. They have to be met for that person. So it's not something we can guess at. We have to find out what they are through communication, conversation, intimate conversation. But when you find out what those are and you realize, okay, this person is, going, is willing to tell me how to meet them even, because people are very willing to tell you what to, how to meet their emotional needs. Now you begin to feel a lot more secure in the relationship. As I said, your self-esteem goes up, your self-confidence, sense of security will all be improved by this. Now, in, in identifying what the emotional needs are is a process. It takes time. It's not something that you're just going to tell each other. Because sometimes you have to discover yourself what your emotional needs are. But this video is, is short for today. I'm just talking about the equation. And it is, meet each other's emotional needs and the relationship will work. Fail to and it won't. Pretty simple. Let me know what you think, guys, and I'll talk to you next time.